So there's this quote, right, that the jack of all trades is a master of none. And this was in fact meant to be a compliment and was oftentimes used to describe William Shakespeare, which is kind of counterintuitive because today it's oftentimes used as a cynical thing that you're a jack of all trades and a master of none. What do you think about that in the context of business school degrees, in a professional context, in the context of your career, or even personal growth? Jack of all trades and master of one is what an MBA is. And I think that formula is the best. You need to have an anchor. You need to be good at something. The problem happens that when you want to excel in that one particular domain, you become close-minded and you double down on that one particular trade. And that, I feel, leads to suboptimal growth in the next three, four, five decades of your working life. So the best is master of one, but jack of all. That is the formula that works in government and private, I would argue, that I had mentioned earlier. And this also holds true in personal context, personal growth context, and even your career context. Absolutely. This also holds true in the personal context. You need to be a master of something to have respect in your home. And then, of course, you need to know what's happening around the world, jack of all. So that combination, I can tell you from experience, definitely works as opposed to you are not a master of a single domain. Your home will not respect you. That will be very bad. Even if you are not a Leo, your ego will always be hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I see. So coming back to an MBA decree itself, when you think about an MBA, we generally think about, okay, you will specialize in management or you will specialize in one particular subfield of management, yes. say finance or accounting or whatnot. But it so happens that most business schools, at least out of India, don't have a unique specialization that we have in India. So in India, we talk things like, okay, I did my MBA in marketing or I did my MBA in finance. Whereas if I look at my Stanford curriculum, there is no unique specialization as a track. Sure, I have a few options. I have a few courses that I could take. But how does an MBA really prepare you to be the master of one thing? And what is that one thing if it inherently varies from one context to another, say accounting to finance to marketing to all these other subfields of business as a whole? As long as you know that the first year you should try to be jack of all and in the second year, master of one. Most American universities offer that. Even if they don't, you can always select. As a Stanford, the question that you asked, you can certainly choose those courses that at the end of second year, you know about all the functions in a company, but you know a little bit more or quite a bit more about one particular function of the company. That kind of profile will really give you a leg up when you either begin your own journey of a startup or if you, when you apply for a job.